Hey y'all, welcome to Faith Budgets. On this channel, I'll be posting videos about how we use a zero-based budget, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and savings challenges to pay off debt and save at the same time. If that's content that you're interested in, then please keep watching and definitely hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey to financial freedom. Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, if you're new, my name's Holly. Uh, on this channel, I usually post videos about how we use the zero-based but zero-based budget method and also cash cash stuffing. We are cash budgeters for the most part. I do leave some of my money in our our checking account to pay those auto draft bills and then other um like subscriptions that come out automatically, I do keep that money in there or I have it set up with my credit card. Either way, uh, the money that I do take out in cash and put in my sinking funds, I'll put that back into my account whenever I, those bills come due, when they come out of the account or whenever they're charged to my credit card. And then that way it gives me a little bit of time to get that money put into the bank. So I really do like using the credit cards. That seems to have helped us a little bit with, you know, taking advantage of the rewards points and all that um, if you use uh, any kind of credit card points uh, which credit cards do you use we use chase I have the chase flex and the chase freedom um, I use both of those one of them has the 1.5 percent on everything and then the other one has some rotating categories each quarter you get different categories and some of those will earn up to five points per per category so it works out pretty good and I try to swap that up you know like one for the one quarter it might be like five percent on gas back on your gas so I would you know change around and use that card for our gas for sure and then um, I think one quarter it was Amazon orders so I made sure that I did use that card for our Amazon orders uh, but yeah just let me know if you guys use credit cards and if you utilize the point system and rewards and does that benefit you guys with travel or what do you use it for do you use cash back or do you use it for the points I really do uh, I'm really getting the hang of it I think I like it pretty good so it, it's helped us out quite a bit but um, this video will be for the debt tracking um, for our last debt other than our mortgage we have one debt left our SUV and I started this in January of 24 and we since have sold the old vehicle and paid off the one loan that we did have that I started this out with SUV I mean a Honda side-by-side -side ATV loan so we paid that off and we sold our old vehicle and then we purchased a new vehicle and you know used that money to pay off the old one so now we just have one loan but it is for the new SUV that we have so we're still just working hard on that and I'm paying on it weekly I I do this debt tracking Thursday every week to show how much we've paid on it each week and hopefully whenever I finish some savings challenges I'll get to add those to it as well I haven't added anything yet but at the end of the year I don't know I'm gonna see what I end up using my savings challenges for and maybe start a new one in January to go towards this at the end of the year so I don't know uh, I've got a wedding to save for also it's, it's September of 25 so that is kind of at the top of my priority list right now so paying extra on this is kind of you know at the bottom because I do want to help my son and his fiance with their wedding uh, cost and venue and the rehearsal dinner and things like that you know they're paying for the most of it and her parents are helping so but I do want to try to contribute to that and I want to make sure that I do have the rehearsal dinner fully funded before time before it gets here so uh, definitely going to get that taken care of first so that's the main priority right now but that's the goal to try to focus on this after the wedding savings is complete and put extra towards the debt so but then you also got to save up for all the other sinking funds too so but the savings challenges make it super fun i i do the uh, 52 week challenge the 12 month challenge and then the i do challenge for my son's wedding and then also i'm still trying to get one month ahead so i'm slowly working on the one month ahead challenge i know i need to move that up as a priority too but it seems like i always put that to the end but i do think i would benefit from having that money sitting in our checking account being a month ahead it's kind of like a a little bit of an emergency fund too we do have a few thousand in our emergency fund but i want to have more <laughs> so you just you know never know how much you need when an emergency comes up so definitely want to save up for those all those sinking funds and things too but um 
we'll just go ahead and get started with the debt tracking Thursday. This will be for um, the third week, be for the 15th, Friday the 15th. I do it every, I pay every Friday on the debt. So sometimes I would get five weeks if it's a magic month. But this little tracker here, this is the debt, yearly debt payoff tracker. This is from Amy over at Dear Debt. This is where I got the idea from. She does debt, uh, debt free Fridays. And they are debt free now except for their mortgage. And now she uses that to track their savings goals. And they're, her and I think she is putting their extra money towards their 401, I mean, uh, Roth IRA to max that out each year for her and her husband both. So, but this little thing just tracks how much you put on it each, each month, lays it out for you. And then here's the little debt tab. Um, this is from the Simple Budget VEDA. It's the debt payment tracker. So we have the SUV loan. It's TVA Credit Union. Starting balance $49,367. Minimum payment $740.90. It's due on the 20th. The very first payment was due on October 20th of 24. Interest rate is locked in at 6.74% for 7 years or 84 months. And the set, the goal payoff date that we want to pay it off would be... Um, four years sooner so we want to do uh, October of 28 so that'd be 48 months instead so I want to hope you know hopefully get that paid off sooner so as you can see I've paid off you know wrote, tracked my payments for each week uh, let's see and this one was for 1115 and it was 200 again and hopefully after I have some um, after the end of year and the and then after 2025 starts, maybe I can even up this amount just a little bit and just change my payment to where I'm adding a little bit extra, but not, you know, not a whole lot. Maybe if it's just 10 or $20, I'm going to see whenever I tweak my budget after some um, income increases, hopefully. So not a whole lot, but, you know, whenever I do get an increase, I want to put it towards something that will get us ahead. So... Okay, so I did check on there, and it is forty-eight thousand. That's what we have remaining, two hundred eight. So yay, get down past that next milestone there, hopefully. So that leaves. Let's go over here to the little tracker, and we get to color in half of one of these. Roughly, we're just roughing it. It's not exact. Just a little visual to kind of help as we go. And then the other debt that we have, which is our mortgage, I still do track it here, even though we're not paying any extra on it right now. Uh, the starting balance on our mortgage was 324000 The minimum payment is 1648 and And that changes next month. I need to change that. After this video, I'm going to go in and change that. Um, it's due on the first of every month. The interest rate is 2.625% and the goal payoff date is, well, it's not the goal, but the set payoff date, if, it, if it's paid in for the term of the loan, is September 1st of 2051. So we definitely want to have it paid off before then. But the next payment will be on uh, December the 1st. So after that payment has hit the the account I'll go in and check it and see what the remaining balance is and I'll I will track that here on the the following Thursday and that's a little tracker there for for the house mortgage payoff this is you color in half a house there and this was just a free uh, planner from mapleplanners.com I printed it off from the website there it was free so okay guys so that's it for the debt tracking Thursday video I hope everybody's had a great week. I feel like I've been I've been off, I guess, MIA. We got back from our trip and um, had a wonderful time with my girlfriends. And we had, you know, catching up. We had a lake house. It was so relaxing. The weather was beautiful. It was so calm and peaceful. We went to visit uh, Patty's uh, 18, 1880 settlement and had some great food, great atmosphere. Had the Christmas lights up already. And then we drove on up to... Um, metropolis illinois and we would get to see the little statue with the um the home of superman so that was pretty neat they had a little museum there a small little town we were so close to that we just wanted to go on up and drive drive on up to that and check that off drove across a couple of neat bridges and just did a little bit of sightseeing and um 
uh, ate a couple of different places along the way and just catching up with with my friends and having some made some good memories got had some definitely had some laughs and <laughs> uh, had a great time so I will see you guys on the next one I guess will be um yeah, my budget with me for the fourth paycheck in November already. So it's getting close to Thanksgiving. But I will have that video up. I, I missed last week because I was out of town. But this week I will do the fourth paycheck for November. And then I'll do the cash stuffing uh, portion after that. And do the savings challenges that go along with it. So I hope everybody's had a great week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.